Welcome back to Living 808. We have a special guest in studio this morning, all the way from Hawaii Island, artist Brad Tiki Shark Parker. Hello, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Trini. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, we have a beautiful display here of some of your artwork. Um, how would you describe your artwork? What kind of art do you do? Uh, what I do is basically uh, the easiest way to call it is Hawaiiana, but um, I've been doing a I've been visiting Hawaii a long time, and I always noticed that the stuff you see in the souvenir shops is the same art I've seen like my whole life, maybe since the 1940s. So I decided if I could do anything for Hawaii, I would bring in like pop art, pop culture, maybe maybe uh, modern art, my own kind of cartoon realism. So what I've been doing is um, I paint uh, what is called. Uh, uh, pop surrealism, or uh, it's also known as lowbrow art or cartoon realism, and uh, so you're bringing that and joining it with Hawaiiana. Right. Everything. Uh, everything in all my paintings is something that has been inspired by something that's happened to me on the Hawaiian Islands. So, like, I've been scuba diving, and I saw this, and I, I paint a, a, a shark. I, a, I, saw, I was at a big party, and this happened to me, and I, I paint a big uh, thing with the hula girls on it, you know. Well, it all comes from experiences I've had in Hawaii. Great. Now, you have a, a shop, I guess, on Hawaii Island, but um, where, where can people find your stuff? You don't have to go to Hawaii Island to oh, get your stuff. Well, yeah, if you're on Hawaii Island, um, if you go to Kona Oceanfront Gallery in Kailua Kona, that's, uh, like, my main home gallery. And if you up at the shop at the Manolani, I'm at Cozy's Tiki Palace. And uh, if you're on Oahu, I'm in Nordstrom's. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Which is uh, really exciting. And uh, also, I'm in a lot of shops. Like, you can go to Target. You can go to a lot of souvenir shops and find my stuff, like the calendars and the luggage tags and, and things like that. I'm all over the place because I think um, it's fine to go to a gallery and uh, get some really expensive art prints. But, I mean, the main people, like, uh, the, everybody just... Uh, should be able to find art. I mean, it's art's for the masses, that kind sure. of a thing. And to so find something that speaks to them, right? Right, right. It's interesting, though, because, you know, some maybe stuffy artists may not want to sell their things <laughs> in mom and pop souvenir shops, but you don't feel that way. No, no, like I said, I think um, art's for everybody. Art should be for, um, you know, uh, if you can reading a comic book, that's art. If you're if you're buying a, a souvenir that you're bringing home from Hawaii, that's art. It's all part of, uh, you know, the souvenir culture and the pop culture should be mixed together. I wanted to kind of raise, like, the stuff that you brought home from Hawaii, I wanted to raise it up to almost a level of fine art. If I can do that, I mean, that's my main goal as an artist. Sure. Um, now, some people call your art tiki art. Right, right. Tell us about that. I do see a lot of tiki in your artwork. Yeah, well, that's like, um, that's like the main thing about art is um, there's a whole international community of people who collect tiki. They mm -hmm. collect, you know, tiki mugs. They collect uh, figurines. They collect uh, calendars. Oh, all kinds of, oh, I'm sorry. No, and um, I mean, that's all over the world. There's tiki bars in Spain. There's tiki bars in Germany. And... Um, that's, you know, this whole collector uh, market of tiki's. And so what I do when I paint Hawaiiana, a lot of people understand it as tiki art. They don't understand Hawaiian culture that particularly. And so what I'm trying to do when I, when I approach tiki art, when I approach Hawaiiana, I approach it with a very respectful place of understanding a lot more about Hawaiian culture than I think a lot of artists maybe do if they're living in Spain or, or France or, or Sweden. And I try to uh, approach it with a real sense of authenticity. You know, I live here on the Hawaii Island, and, uh, you know, I, I write about and I paint about things that have happened to me. So uh, it, it all kind of, like, I think trying to raise a level of, like, uh, tiki art to, like, a more respectful uh, a place in Hawaiian culture. Sure. And everything looks beautiful. Uh, again, it's uh, Brad Parker. You've got your website here on Oahu. You can go to Nordstrom or right. to uh, the different locations that you mentioned on Hawaii Island. Right. But you also have a great website. So we're going to make sure oh. to put that on our website so Tiki that people know com. where to find you. But you have a great <laughs> selection of stuff, uh, really vibrant colors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. from towels yeah. To, to mugs. Yeah, these are for you. Put these on. Okay. And they're going to be sunglasses will be coming out soon. Oop. Let's see. All right. How do I look? Yo, you look great. Okay. You look great. You're styling. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us well, this thanks morning. For having me. Yeah, you have great stuff. Except I can't read with these on. They're a little dark. <laughs> I'm going to take these off.